First on Fox, imagine finding yourself alone in these open waters surrounded by 10 sharks. That was the scary situation for this Southwest Florida fisherman today who got stuck near a sandbar without a boat in sight. And for your corner is Tony Sadiku, the only one speaking with this young fisherman today after he was pulled to safety by rescue crews. Tony? The man I talked to today is no stranger to fishing or being in the water. He's been doing it most of his life. But today's mission of using cut bait to lure redfish nearly left him as the bait. It was almost like a little feeding frenzy going on around me. Cause, I mean, I guess I was the only thing that was really uh, stinking up the water. It was a normal day of fishing near Burnt Storm Marina for Steve Moon with the tide turn, leaving him stranded and surrounded by sharks. And I started to notice the fins, and I'm like, oh, great. And you can bet Steve was not as excited for the up-close encounter with the sharks as they probably were. And it wasn't a big deal until, you know, I counted 10. And, you know, that they uh, they kept getting closer, more aggressive, you know, uh, getting within like a foot of me. What was going through your mind at that point? Uh, get out. <laughs> For an hour and a half, Steve used his fishing rod to fend off sharks as they closed in on him. I saw him out of the corner of my eye, you know, come toward my leg, and I was able to just see the back of him, you know, and I'm like, yeah, he has a seven foot shark. Out of options and out of signal, Steve said it was the emergency button on his iPhone that came in clutch when he had no other way of escape. Once uh, the um, dispatch got in touch with uh, Boca Grande and all the other ones, um, they were there within 10 minutes. So, I mean, they're they're pretty they're pretty fast. Speed that Steve says saved his life. Now the 24 year old fisherman has a story he'll probably be telling his grandkids one day. It's definitely going to be an interesting story. I mean, I can't say uh, uh, I've ever been, you know, rescued by Coast Guard before and all that. So, I mean, I can't say I've seen that many sharks, you know, around me before. I mean, it, it was pretty wild. Steve tells me he'll be back in the water within a week, but he says next time he probably won't go alone. Live in the newsroom, Tony Sadiku, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you.